What's up ghouls, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming for you another Paranormal Experiences video. So it is halfway through September, we are so close to October, my favourite month of the year. We are creeping closer and closer to Halloween, the veil between the world is thinning. I am in my element. <laughs> the other day I had the best spooky cozy evening. I had a vegan sausage casserole in the slow cooker. I had a pumpkin candle burning. I was under my black blanket. I was snuggling up with my <laughs> giant pumpkin stuffy and I was watching Friday the 13th. So I, I'm living the Halloween dream. Um, anyway, <laughs> So as it is my favourite time of year, I thought I'd film another spooky uh, paranormal experiences video. You guys seem to really enjoy the last one, so um, yeah, I thought I'd film another for you. So if you haven't seen the last one, I'll link it below. I'm going to make a playlist on my channel so you can just go through them all because there are going to be another one or two, definitely one, probably two, and then that's all my experiences filmed, so then they'll be coming as and when they happen. Hopefully there's more. So, the theme for today's experiences video is sound. So these are paranormal experiences that I've witnessed by hearing them, obviously. So, I'm gonna get right into it. Again, it's gonna be in chronological order, so let's crack on. So the first one happened years and years and years ago. I don't remember how old I was. Um, it was on a trip to London with my dad, my stepmom at the time. Um, her two children and then me and my sister. So I remember we were really young We went to London on the coach and we went to see like the changing of the guard and stuff And then we went to one of the museums. I'm well aware there's many museums in London I don't remember which one it was. I want to say it was science or maybe natural history um, I don't remember I just remember we were in this exhibit and there were loads and loads of like birds but like taxidermy birds um, and it was, it was kind of boring. I wasn't really interested in that kind of stuff. I was just a kid. I wanted to like play and I, I vaguely remember there being a gemstone exhibit and I was really into that. Um, but yeah, this trip was like really boring and I didn't want to be there. And, um, my stepsister at the time was really, really little. She must have been maybe like three or four. She was really young. Um, and she's like... She was like my baby, like I always used to just like pick her up and hug her and take her around and like, I don't know, I loved her, um, still do, obviously, but yeah, she was like my little baby. And so we were looking at this weird bird exhibit and she just turns to me and looks at me and she just starts going, red is the warrior, red is the warrior. And I was like, what the fuck is happening? I was like... Um, so that's not written anywhere in the museum, I don't know where she would have picked that up on, like, that shit's not on CBeebies, like, I don't, I don't know where she got this from. And she was just, like, staring at me, dead in the eye, just repeating, red is the warrior, red is the warrior, and I, and then I'm like, Holly, look, mummy, and she goes, oh, mummy, and then just, like, runs off and just, like, snapped out of it. Um, so, I don't want to say she was possessed, I don't know what she was doing it just was weird to me it was i want to say it was a paranormal experience because i still to this day i'm like what the fuck why was she just repeating that phrase i don't know if she'll remember it now i think she watches my videos so holly comment down below do you ever remember that happening because i was freaked out but um i was talking to her about it with my friend later on and she was saying that sometimes things can you know just overcome you especially kids they're so sensitive to like paranormal experiences and being in a museum with loads of old artifacts, you know, there's a lot of residual energy there. And then seeing a family member or something really, really close to them can kind of bring you out of it. So it is likely that that could have been something paranormal. So that is, that's one that always really freaks me out. So the next one happened years and years later. Um, this was in halls in university. So I spoke about that in my last video. Um, Okay, so my SD card was filled up, so good times. I'm back, ready to continue. So, student halls, a lot of energy, is a strange place. So, um, I had just moved in to halls, so this was three years ago. Yeah. Oh, it's like three years ago, like now, because the students have started like moving in. Oh my god. 
emotional. Um, <laughs> anyways, so I'd just moved in, I'd been there for maybe a few nights and um, some of the people had decided to go out and some of us were just chilling in the kitchen. So I got out my tarot cards and I was doing some tarot readings for people. Um, I got like my lace tablecloth, had my crystal ball, we had candles burning. It was, it was a really fun night so I was just reading a bit of tarot, it was really good. And then someone mentioned a Ouija board and I was like, I have one, do you guys want to do one? It is actually the one that's up on the wall behind me. There's the board, there's the planchette. Um, they're from Killstar, I'll link it down below, although it's changed now so it's a different style but still cool um, if you guys are interested. Um, so I go and grab the Ouija board from my room and we sit and we're, you know, hands around the planchette and we're going and everyone, so everyone has two hands on the planchette so no one, no one's hands are not on the planchette so everyone, everyone's hands are visible. So we're talking and we're moving the thing around and we're ready and we're asking questions, nothing's coming through, we're not getting any responses, no questions, it's not moving. And um, I say, if there's spirits here who don't want to be bothered, make a noise. And then we hear three knocks. Obviously, it's none of us. Our hands are all on the table. None of us are making that sound. And everyone just looks so shook. Everyone looks so shocked. And I ask again, just to be clear, if you do not want to be bothered, make a noise. Three knocks, that's it. We're ending the session, these spirits don't want to be bothered, just let them sit in peace. And everyone just looked so horrified and so scared. Um, that was the first time I'd ever got like a proper response from a Ouija board, like it wasn't on the actual board, it was just a sound. But um, it was really, really cool, it was really fun. I think if I'd have been on my own, I probably would have been scared, but because I was in a group of people and we were all hearing it, everyone was like, oh my god. I did record the session on my iPad. If I can find the recording, I will try and insert a little clip of it so you guys can hear the knocks. Um, but yeah, it was so cool. Um, so yeah, that's the one that I really, really, I like that. And I think, so this happened like relatively soon after I'd moved in, like I said, a couple of nights, and then I had two or three experiences after that. So I spoke about one in my last video and there's gonna be another one in the upcoming video. So some people might say that I kind of like released something. I don't think I released something. I think I maybe just disturbed spirits that were already there. Um, so that's probably why I had a couple of experiences in halls, but um, nothing too sinister and nothing too bad. So the next one happened a year later when I was living in a shared house. So I spoke about that in my university experience video. So it was a shared house, there was me and three others, two girls and a boy, and I was also living with Jake as well. Um, and uh, I had, mine and Jake's bedroom was upstairs, it was on the top floor, and then there was two bedrooms downstairs and another one across the hall from me. And um, my Two female housemates didn't move in until September, whereas Jake, I and the other guy moved in um, beginning of July. So Jake had a full-time job and my friend who lived downstairs, the guy, he had a job where he was out, mo he was working most days um, because it was the summer holidays, we didn't need to be in uni. So I was often on my own, I was often home alone um, because I didn't have a job then and I <laughs> had nothing to do so I was just like sat around at home and I would always hear like the doors bang and move but the um the upstairs the two females bedrooms they were locked but they weren't used um obviously because they weren't there so it definitely those doors weren't moving my bedroom door like I'd go I'd look up like I'd be downstairs I'd hear the door knocking and I'd look upstairs and the door's not moving I don't know what door was knocking but it just sounded like the doors were moving and I would always hear if I was downstairs I'd always hear creaks upstairs and it sounded like people were walking around it sounded like people were opening and shutting doors but there was no one there it was just me home alone um, that house our landlord said was over 120 years old so that is old for a house um, so who knows what kind of things happened there um, and it was also mega old so who knows what kind of people lived there who knows what happened there but um, it just sounded like a very busy house nothing too sinister nothing too scary um, just <laughs> movement I'm gonna sneeze <laughs> I have the girliest sneeze it's really embarrassing Whew. okay so the last one is really really strange this is um, it happened, it was the year that I lived in that student house, so two years ago, 
um, and it was in Wigan where my boyfriend is from so two or three times a year we go back and we stay with his mum and we visit his family and his friends and stuff so we were I think it was February um, two years ago and we'd gone up to visit his nan she wasn't very well his nan wasn't very well so we'd gone to go and visit her so um, it was one morning we were really tired because we'd spent all day um, sat with his nan making sure she was okay um, like getting her like food and drink and making sure she takes all the tablets and stuff like that so all day we were taking care of her so then in the evening we'd go and see his friends and then at night it was like I'm shattered I'm going to sleep so one morning I woke up and I was facing the so we're staying in his room in this bed and I'm facing the wall and I can hear downstairs I can hear him and his mum talking his mum works nights so during the day she's asleep so that she can get up to work nights um, and I can hear them downstairs and she's like you know in their little accents oh morning lad you want some breakfast and he's like no no I'm going down Paul's which is one of his friends who lives close by and I was thinking what the fuck like why didn't you wake me up if you're going out why didn't you you know tell me so I was just laid there really annoyed and like carried on listening to the conversation and she's like what you're going now and he's like yeah yeah it won't be long only like 10 minutes and then I hear the door slam and I sit up and I'm gonna grab my phone and be like, Jake, what the fuck? And I sit up and he's sat next to me in bed and I'm like, what? So, like, him and his mum weren't having a conversation downstairs. He has no other siblings, it's just him. The only people in that house are me, him and his mum. His mum's asleep because she works nights. He's asleep next to me, but I just heard this full conversation downstairs. I wasn't asleep because I know I was laid there and I was just being really, I was really angry that they were talking downstairs and that he was going without me, like I heard the door slam and everything but like it didn't happen because they weren't there I, I'm still mecha confused by that, I still don't know what the hell went down that was definitely one of the strangest things um, yeah, really really weird um, if anyone has any ideas as to what that could be, please comment down below. Um, I'm really intrigued as to why that happened, as to what I heard. I don't know. Um, yeah, very strange. And then to bring it to current day, the kind of like paranormal experiences via, via, but in terms of sound, I do hear them rather frequently in the flat that I am in. Now, so I've been in this flat for just over a year. Um, as I said in my last video, it's super, super old. Loads of history here. Um, it was like a huge stately home before it was purpose built into like small flats, small rooms for soldiers who came over from America to stay in before the war. Um, it had plans to have like a ballroom and loads of cool stuff. But then World War II started and there was um, loads of bombing and stuff. So it never happened. So we're kind of like a half finished. There's only two blocks when there should have been four. Um, it's a very strange building, it looks like a Tudor home but it's not, it's very strange, very old, um, who the fuck in their right mind would have that as a horn, who? But yes, so it's a very old building. Um, one of the things that I think is very strange is, um, so one evening, Jake and I were at home. We, it was when the sofa was turned around a different way. So we're facing this way, we're watching TV. And I get up and I walk over to go and see Pumpkin. She's sat by her bowl and I go and stroke her. Then I go through and go to the bathroom. And the guy from downstairs, he's complained to us before about making loads and loads of noise, which there was one occasion where we had a friend round and we were listening to music and watching films really loud. and. That's the only time we've ever been like loud. Other than that, we're very quiet. We tend to just sit and watch TV or he, Jake plays video games and I'm blogging. Like we're not very loud people. And this guy storms upstairs and he's like, I've had enough of the footsteps and the banging and like rearranging furniture. And it's like, <laughs> what is going on? Like we literally sat on the sofa watching TV I get up and walk across the hallway or walk across the room to go and see Pumpkin, to go to the bathroom and then to come back. Like, I don't stamp when I walk, I walk like a regular person and I thought maybe it could be one of the neighbours or something that was making a noise but we're not hearing any of these loud bangs and he says it just sounds like we're stamping back and forth across 
the flat and he's like I've got to get up early this isn't fair and we're like I, I don't know what is going on like I couldn't tell you because it's not us because we're just sat down we're not being noisy and he's complained two or three times about really loud footsteps sounds like we're jumping up here sounds like we're moving furniture when in reality we are not doing anything I think that is really really strange and I started to question this guy and I was thinking are you okay because like this like it's not us it must be someone else you're hearing and recently after those complaints then we started hearing the same thing but from up above us so it sounds like whoever lives above us is doing star jumps or something in the middle of the night jumping up and down super loud and it's it's bizarre we've never gone to complain or question it because I feel like it's something paranormal. I feel, as I said before, that it was um, people from the Navy who came over and they stayed in these rooms and stuff. I feel like there's kind of, like some kind of spirit here who's, I don't know, still in that mode of I've got to keep fit and they're exercising and jumping up and down and whatever. And it's at just really random times and I just feel like it could be one of them. Comment down below, tell me what you think. Do you think there's still some like leftover Navy soldiers here who are, you know, stuck in their ways, still exercising, even in death, like go on, I support you. But yeah, it's really, really strange. It sound, it's so loud and it like, I don't know who lives above me, but um, for all I know, I mean, it could be someone upstairs being really noisy, but I just find it really weird that the guy downstairs could hear the noises and he thought it was us and we could hear the noises. And it's, it's very strange. Um, yeah, I always hear kind of like floor creaks and I don't know, just lots of creepy sounds happen in this apartment and they happen, like, they happen when I'm home alone and I know it's obviously not me, um, they happen when I'm with Jake, it happens a lot, um, but it's nothing too scary, there's nothing ever that really freaks me out, it's just, you know, a bit strange. <laughs> yeah that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching comment down below and tell me about some of your paranormal experiences i love hearing about them there was a really cool story in the last video in the comments which i really enjoyed so please comment them down below and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye